so many people, I think, like to um, you know, tell themselves that sexual abuse is not a problem in their community or their church or their school uh, because nobody likes to think that it is. But the reality is there's not uh, any one place that's untouched uh, by this phenomenon, um, unfortunately. Um, in our uh, area, uh, the Child Advocacy Center, uh, where children who have been sexually abused uh, come to, we're seeing about 600 children a year. Um, and primarily those are child sexual abuse cases. Um, statewide, um, in 2013, um, there were, um, just so people get an idea uh, of the prevalence of sexual abuse, because a lot of people um, think child abuse just means physical abuse, or that's what comes to mind when they hear the term child abuse. Um, in Pennsylvania in 2013, there was 1,079 substantiated cases of child physical abuse. That's 1,079. But there was 2,658 substantiated cases of sexual abuse. So there's at least double the amount um, of child sexual abuse as there is physical abuse. And really that number um, is not a good reflection of the sexual abuse because we know that the bulk of child sexual abuse does not go reported. So those numbers are actually far higher um, than what we know of. I think it's very important, as I said, um, for families, for parents, to have uh, very open educational conversations with their children, starting at a young age, to teach them about what are appropriate boundaries, what is body safety, you know, teach them um, appropriate names and terms for their body parts so that they have the words to convey if something's happening to them. Um, I think as community members, you know, I, I guarantee you everybody here knows somebody, whether they're aware or not, that has been sexually assaulted as a child. And to really uh, stand up and say, this is a problem in, in my community and I have a responsibility as a community member, as a parent, as a leader, um, to really ask, what can I do? Um, and even if that's just um, being willing to have the conversation um, because so many people are not um, and that's not going to help you know we need to be willing and comfortable to have those conversations um, if we want to drive away child abuse we have to acknowledge that it's here and have candid open conversations about how we address it.